People did not like the initial proposed reopening plan, so literally hundreds submitted recommendations to the district for their consideration. 8 News Now reporter Kristen Drummond has been following the story and is live tonight in the studio with some of the suggestions and how the trustees may actually kind of tweak this plan tonight. Kristen? Well, Denise, Trustee Danielle Ford claims more than 650 people offered various ideas over the last week, and one came in from a CCSD teacher. Her proposal focuses on offering classes all year long instead of students taking four courses a semester, an idea gaining favor with the community on social media recently. We tried to stay within the parameters that they already have for their plan, except make it so that the kids have all of their classes all year. Kim Ritzer teaches choir at Green Valley High School. I've been there for 29 years. She disagrees with CCSD wanting to condense year-long courses into a semester for secondary students. Kids taking AP classes, IB classes, even um, special learners. They need to have that information all year long to help them retain the information. She submitted this alternative reopening proposal to the district. It keeps the three cohorts of blended and distance learning, but offers six and eight period schedules for students to take classes all year. I tried to take the time constraints that they gave us uh, in their plan and fit all those classes in. An idea for the board to consider when modifying the current reopening proposal. Trustee Daniel Ford posted various recommendations to her website. They include not holding classes in portables and allowing high-risk educators to choose only distance learning. There are a lot of us who would like to teach online exclusively. That way we could give our full attention to the online students and it wouldn't be the classroom teacher trying to do cohort A, B, and C. An option as the district tries to find a solution. Basically what this comes down to is what will be safe and what's going to actually work. Now, Trustee Ford says certain special education students should receive priority and have the option to come back full time. She suggested those classes be moved to libraries and larger rooms to maintain social distancing.